black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Back with another one for you today. Uh, in today's episode, we are rocking out with a, you know, comfort home classic. We got some grilled bacon and cheesers, some three cheese blend on there. And then we have some creamy soup in front of us in a rather large clear bowl. I wish I had one that was a little tighter and like that so that it would be brimming, brimming to the top. But we work with what we have for now. So I'm just going to get that out of the way real quick because these... Bacon and cheese guys are hot off the press. One side a little more golden than the other, but we got those bacon tentacles just flying out the bottom. Extra bacon. You do see right in the back there is extra bacon as well. And that will end up somewhere. But I do want to crack this open and reveal it. All right, we get one shot at this. And it didn't even work for my thumbnail. All right, well, that was a thumbnail fail. Take a look at the inside. You can mostly see the white cheese. I have mozzarella, provolone, and American cheddar. I've got some accoutrement for the sandwich and some accoutrement for the soup. But the first thing I would like to do is this bite right here. Is this soup dippy bite. There we go. That is exactly what your guy was looking for. That was the bite. I was going to go ahead and say that was the alone in there getting a little wild now I have to address something I know some of you all are at this point you're like where's the pour up where's the pour up once again I am out of diet pop for right now so we can't pour up I just have an ice water on the side oh no what a fail this ladies and gentlemen is a little thing called red pepper jelly and it is what our dreams have made of. If you've never had red pepper jelly with a grilled cheese, you are mistaken and missing out on life. Sweet, sweet and heat plays off cheese and salt so well. So just a nice fresh water today. Okay. Also, we have these buttery crackers. What soup without some busted up crackers in it? I'll tell you what it is. It ain't right. Also, extra bacon in mushroom soup. By the way, this is cream of mushroom. You cannot go wrong with bacon and mushroom as a combination in this life. So we're going all out. We're going stir crazy. And we're having cream of bacon mushroom cracker soup. Can I get an amen? Mm, Cause that is something else.
I can feel the low blood sugar today. Deep in the fast. Obnoxious, stressing me out. The sandwich, on the other hand, just the opposite. See if we can get a gander in there. I gotta say, the red pepper jelly is where it's at. Better than the ketchup. For sure, better than the ketchup. Come on. The red pepper jelly, though, unstable, shaky. I like my hands apparently when I'm deeply fasted. I save one strip because I personally just love a strip of bacon and ketchup. Just as is. Mm hmm. Major key. So I know a bunch of you are probably going to throw some shade at the cream of mushroom, but first off, I love cream soups, cream of broccoli, cauliflower chicken. You name it, it's creamy. I'll eat it. Mushroom is a fave though. I used to be scared of mushrooms, but I soon grew to love them. other sandwich just something I feel like telling you guys I don't know if this ever happens to any of you but you get thrown into weird crazy like new YouTube obsessions and as of lately I've been deep into prison stuff on YouTube mainly channels of people who have been to prison and are out now and are basically sharing their stories and basically just trying to like enlighten people to what that life entails, what it's like, why you don't want it, basically. Safe to say, I've always known that I wouldn't want to go to prison, but, you know, some people come from a life where it's kind of 
that's the root yeah I'm drinking too I was just fortunate enough to have a life where that really wasn't ever going to be my path because I was fairly fortunate growing up you know Anyways, I've been deep in these these prison channels. Um, and then I found this one dude named Big Lance on the Yard. And I was just watching some of his videos. And he's a dude who's like, he got out and he's just trying to spread awareness and spread positivity. And then on his channel, he uploaded like him playing guitar with with an original song that he wrote for veterans, and I listened to it, and I listened to it, and it was very good. Pleasantly surprised. Very good songwriting. Good melody, cool voice. So if any of you guys watch prison stuff or prison people, check dude out. Worth worth a listen for sure. There's just something so like addictive and compelling about listening to somebody who's good at telling stories talk about their stories inside a world that's like you don't understand or like and you don't get a glimpse into like you don't you won't ever know what it's like you know what I mean so it's like very it's it's easy to get addicted to anyways that concludes that one. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.